Hey, it's Klaus here. I haven't done a theme review for Shopify for a while. And as there are more and more OS 2.0, online shopping 2.0 themes are coming out, I thought I will do one for you this time. So let's dive right into it. So the theme that I'm looking at this time is the Focal theme by Maestro. Some of you might know that the warehouse theme of Maestro is one of my favorite themes in the Shopify universe. And um, so I thought this new theme that they brought out might be a good catch to see what they have done. So let's dive in here into the demo store first, and then we go into the back end. The demo store itself you see here is coming in three different styles. If I'm not completely wrong, it's actually it's four different styles. So basically you can choose from different color schemes on um, the demo or on the theme itself. You see, it has a uh, pop-up in integrated here directly. Not the best way to work with pop-ups here, obviously, but depending on how you integrate your theme, you might get rid of this anyway and might integrate a, a pop-up coming from, for instance, Klaviyo or any other kind of app. Now let's be on the homepage here and see what we have here. So obviously we have a hello bar, a notification bar right up here. Interesting here, they have a slider in there. See this one is actually quite nicely done. Saves a lot of space. You can put in some more information than just one line. I think that's that's very nicely done. So if you have, um, for instance, one more than one promotion there, or you want to mix it up with free shipping notifications, something like that, you can do this here. So I like that a lot. I like that the header is very narrow. One thing that I always recommend when I do store reviews, um, website audits is have a, a very narrow header. So you want to bring the main content high into the browser window above the fold so that people do not need to scroll down to see the main content. So that's nicely done. Then we have here the navigation in this color scheme, actually quite nice, high contrast, white text on black background. So easy to read, easy on the eyes so that's also very well done it seems to be also um, enough space here to put enough menu items in here my screen resolution here is 1920 on 1080 so you see that might even work with smaller ones seems so that they have a currency converter in, um, included already that's nice here a, a contact field something i would not recommend um, but that seemingly is an option in in their um, in their theme a search icon um, again not best practice so they have it here that's something i would change there and obviously the annoying login account creation thingy and then we have the back or the card here and also with a contrasting color so that's nicely done so overall i like the header you have all the main information in here a couple of things that i would add would for instance like a support email address right here and other things but overall the header quite easy now then we have here our slideshow, our hero image. Usually I do not recommend any kind of slideshows. They do usually not add anything to the user experience. But just as a showcase, seemingly it's in the um, in the theme. And also you have real call to actions here, so not embedded somewhere. I'm not sure if this is text. Uh, let's see. No, that seems to be in the graphic. Um, something I need to figure out in the back end. Maybe we can change this and maybe it's um, something that you can do directly in the back end. Let's scroll down. So then obviously we come to different areas here that go directly into sales on the home page. Um, something that I do not recommend, um, but you see it's nicely done. So they have um, little banners here that you can use for your different products. They have a color swatch down here. Obviously, price, they might have comparison price there as well. And they have a mouse over effect for um, seeing a second one. And also then the call to action quick view. Usually I recommend view details of your product. But that's all nicely done here. So I like that a lot. Again, it um, shows that my Astro, um, they know their stuff. Another area here, so just going down here quickly and see what else is there. Then we have some content area here for the block. Also, this is nicely layouted if you want to use this. And just going down a full um, full size product here on the home page. And let's go down to the footer, so it's quite long. Um, some kind of benefits down here, why to buy from you. Also nicely done, so a subscriber box down here and then just a normal navigation down here so that's all good and well let's go to a category and let's have a look on how the category page looks like 
So category page, first thing I don't like here, the header is really white. That might be something potentially that you can change in the back end. I would not recommend to have such a white um, hero image on a category page, on a collection page. Here, another menu in here, which is actually quite nice to have a sub menu in here. I haven't seen that often, so that's nicely done. That helps people finding their products faster. Then a overview of different product categories here and then the filters. So now the filters, if this is part of the theme, which I reckon it is, is nicely done. So they work with color swatches. Um, let's see, they have a pricing here with a slider, which is also good. And then you can have different product types. So very well done here on that theme. I always recommend to have sliders, um, to, to have color swatches there and a good filter system. The collection page mainly should bring people in the shortest possible way to the product that they are looking for. So this is nicely done here. And also they have a sort feature in here. So all the main com components that you will need on a good collection page are there. And also best practice here, just have three images next to each other in one row, not more. So let's go to a product detail page on the focal theme of Maestro. And you see here we have a, let's see, uh, we have an image carousel here. So that's nice. Um, that's very, um, I see a lot of um, themes where you have to scroll down, 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 see all the images. So this is very compact. And then this part here called the buy box, we already can see it's very clean, um, has all the information that one needs without being distracting, without, without creating any kind of overwhelm. So we have the title here, price, comparison, price and savings, review stars in Amazon yellow. And then here also, this is nicely done, the different variations with little thumbnails and then quantity here. And then we have the add to cart and the buy now cart. I would focus here on one. And just let's go down. They work with tabs here, also very nicely done. So this is very, um, saving a lot of space but getting all the main information together and then buy it with so here we can also see that they are having in mind to increase the average order revenue so that's also very very nicely done and then there we go down into faqs and into more information very very nicely done i like that a lot let's go to the add to cart here and see how that looks um, so we have a slider card here, not a traditional card page, not a pop-up, a slider card, which is quite common, usually converts quite nicely. Um, looks nicely. They have here um, a how much to add more to get free shipping. So that basically motivates people to add more to the cart. And then they have some upsells here so that you maybe go there. And then you see here in the checkout, there's also the price included here. So this is all very well done. So overall, I like the front end something that has a lot of conversion optimization bits and pieces already in there obviously one needs to look for a specific for your specific store if there is more options in there just having a look at the traditional card page um yeah that would be a page where i would change a couple of things to make it more effective and um, to increase the conversion rate there but nevertheless overall the theme looks very clean, it's not distracting, and so on and so forth. I'm not going into the mobile version yet, but rather than I go into the back end. And you can see I have installed the um, the theme in my back end, if I would be able to find it. <laughs> there we go. So this is the view that you get on the back end. And you can see here, we have all the different areas of the home page, which you obviously can move uh, around and work on these different parts. Um, you can add a, even a mega menu here. Um, so this is all for the home page here. All these elements are already in uh, the standard, but again, you can add more sections, more blocks if you want to. And then here on the right hand side, you have all the details that are in general um, settings for the theme itself. So if you want to change the colors here for your branding, for your own brand, then you can do this here very, very easily. They have the color swatches in here, which is nice. Um, the search feature on which pages you want to have that. Um, for the cards, some information there. Obviously you have Favicon, you want to have this here, the links to yeah, most of the social media channels that are out there. 
I'm not sure what is animation. Okay, that would be for the block as far as I can see this and then with different currency codes. So let's go quickly to the product detail page and see what we have there and what kind. So let's see. So we have this here. Now you see on the side here, this has changed now. And this is basically the part where you can um, go into the details of the product detail page. Still not there. Give me a second. There we go. Now we are on the page. So you see here, this is the preview of the product detail page. And then on the side here, we have the different settings that you can um, influence directly from the um, from the editor so you don't need to have a uh, a developer as in the past um, if you want to add blocks or sections that's very very easily done you see here you just open this and let me move this over and then you can decide which kind of section you want to add to this particular page to this product detail page and then you can work and extend or shorten the page as you like without having a developer so these are one of the main benefits that you get with the os2 the online shopping 2.0 of shopify if you haven't heard about that then um, look it up on shopify and it will give you a complete overview of all the features that are included in these themes if you have a theme that's still on the old version 1.0 then um, check with your theme developer if they have by now they should um, upgraded it to a 2.0 version will give you a ton of more features and make it easier to maintain your store so something i would highly recommend so overall the theme looks very good um, the developer Behind that is Maestro. I think the theme right now is 320 US dollars. I'm not an affiliate. I don't got anything out of it. So if you're interested, then head over to them and buy it there. Again, it's only one of the recommended themes that I recommend to my clients. It is always important to find out what kind of brand, what kind of store you have, what kind of product range you have, and then you go and then you pick the right theme. So I won't necessarily pick a theme first and then your products um, rather do it the other way. You want to make sure that it works hand in hand and that it's congruent and that it talks or speaks to your customer audience. So that's it for this quick run through on the focal theme of Maestro. As I said, my overall impression is that it is a very good theme. Um, one needs to find out about load time and other, other things. I'm not doing a full in-depth review here, but um, that would be something that would be the next step for me is just to see how, how's the load time, how fast is it, and um, how does it work with different apps. So um, in generally, um, if you have a store, you can always go and download the preview in your own store and play around with it. And um, if you like it, then you can activate it and make it your live theme. That's it for now. I see you in the e-commerce coffee break podcast and here on the channel in the next video. Always make sure to subscribe to my videos and to like, comment, you know the drill. And Hey, Klaus here. Before you leave, I have a question. I rarely offer this but I think if your business might have some opportunities to optimize it, then I would love to work with you. So if you're open to the idea of having me as a consultant for your Shopify store and your marketing, then I can offer you to meet up every second week for a scheduled call of 45 minutes, and we will try to improve your conversion rates and grow your revenue. We will increase your, the revenue from traffic you already have, optimize and improve your store, and I will give you tips to improve your offer, your marketing, your ads, your email, and more. And then generally, I will help you to scale. I think that would be extremely beneficial for you to have me looking over your shoulder and go into your store, into your offers, and your ads on a bi-weekly basis, specifically as I'm involved in seven-figure stores. We can start off at $240 per month. So that's simple, affordable. There's no contracts, no commitments, no surprises. And I think it's a down good deal for you since just a few more sales will cover your investment. Obviously, I will try to help you as much as possible on that side. So let me know what you think. Um, just drop me an email at klaus at klauslauter.com. So that's C-L-A-U-S at C-L-A-U-S-L-A-U-T-E-R.com. Or visit my website or message me directly on social media and I will get you all the details. Hope to talk to you soon and have a great day.